AMC 10A 2020 problem 15. A positive integer divisor of 12 factorial is chosen at random. The probability that the divisor chosen is a perfect square can be expressed as m over n, where m and n are relatively prime positive integers. What is m plus n? So you see here that I've arrowed and underlined, or overlined, if you will, some words, because they are key words to understanding this question. And in particular, the word I, I did was divisor. Don't think of this as a divisor. Think of this as, as a factor, because a divisor within a fraction, such as a over b, the divisor is simply b. And if the divisor chosen, that is a divisor of 12. So first of all, what does it mean to be a divisor of a certain number? So if b is a divisor of number a, that means that b can completely factor into a. So b is a factor of a. So don't think of it as divisor. Think of b as a factor. Don't think of divisor as divisor. Think of divisor as a factor. And when I think of factors and I see 12 factorial, I know I can prime factorize and find out the number of factors. And I'll show you how to do that right now. What is 12 factorial? 12 factorial is 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And we're trying to prime factorize this. So what is 12 equal to? It's 3 times 4, which is 3 times 2 times 2 times 11 times 10, which is 3 times 5 times 9, which is 3 times 3, times 8, which is 2 cubed, and this is supposed to be a multiply, not plus, then times 7, times 2, times 3, times 5, which is prime, times 2, times 2, times 3, times 2. So how many 2s are there? You have 1, 2, 2, 2s, 3, 2s, 4, 2s, 5, 2s, 6, 2s, 7, 2s, 8, 2s, 9, 2s, 10, 2s. So it's equal to 2 to the 10th power times what? 3, we have 1, 3, 2, 3s, 3, 3s, 4, 3s, and 5, 3s, multiplied by 3 to the 5th power. How many fives are there? We have one five, and we have two fives, so five squared. And the rest are just single, which is 11 and seven. So now, from this, which is equal to 12 factorial, how many factors of 12 does 12 factorial have now that we prime factorized? Well, there's a little trick. Now that we have found out the prime factorization, let's first see its powers. So the two to the 10th power, three to the fifth power, five to the five squared, 11 first, and seven to the first power. So to find out the so to find out the number of divisors given its prime factorization, we simply increment each of the respective exponents. So 10 becomes 11, 5 becomes 6, 2 becomes 3, 1 becomes 2, and 1 again becomes 2. And we multiply them all together. And this will give us the number of divisors for 12 factorial. So that is a very cool trick that you can apply to any other number. So this is equal to 66 times 4 times 12 or 4 times 3, so 3 times 4. Six, 66 times 3 will give me 198 times 4 will give me 3, so uh, 9, and then 792. So 198 times 4 will give me 792. So that will be n. So now we're trying to find m. m represents the probability that the divisor chosen is a perfect square. So of the divisors of 12 factorial, how many are perfect squares? Well, First, let's find out how many of the factors we can extract a square from. So 2 to the 10th power is 2 to the 5th squared. So 2 to the 5th comes here. What is 3 to the 5th equal to? That's equal to 3 squared squared times 3. 5 squared is obviously 5 squared. So we can square this quantity and multiply by the remainder, which is 3 and 11 and 7. But I don't really care about this term. All I care about is the numbers within the parentheses squared. because this quantity right here, after multiplying out squared, will be perfect squares of the device of, of the 12 factorial. Because these factors within the parentheses will be factors that are perfect squares within 12 factorial. And how many factors are within this number? Treat 2 to the 5th times 3 squared times 5 as a single number n. Likewise, if we want to find the number of factors for any number, we prime factorize it, raise each prime factor's exponent to 1, and multiply them together. Well, n has now been conveniently prime factorized and given its uh, exponents, we can easily find out the number of factors, which is 5 plus 1 times 2 plus 1 times 1 plus 1, which gives us 18 times 2, which is 36. So we have 36 over 792. Now see if we can simplify this. So we can try out 792 with 36. We can put 2 here and we'll get 72. We get 72, so we put another 2 here, meaning that 36 is a factor of 792. So this will give a remainder of 0. So this can be factored into 1 over 22. So we have found out the simplest form of m and n. 
And notice that they are relatively prime to each other, which means that they cannot be divided by a number that's greater than one. So this checks out. It satisfies both conditions. And now we're trying to find n plus n. Since m is 1, n is 22, 1 plus 22 will give us 23, leading us to, to answer choice E.